Guys, meteorologist Robert Spetta here, and I want to talk about the Western Pacific seasonal outlook for 2019. I know a lot of you have been asking about that, so I'm going to let you know what my thoughts are, what the average numbers of storms are, and kind of, kind of the reasoning behind I'm thinking what I'm thinking. And that's what I'm going to get into first. One thing I do want to mention is that we already have had a super typhoon here in 2019. So I'm making this update in early June, but in February we had our strongest super typhoon, super typhoon wood tip in the West Trade Pacific in the month of February. Something I'm taking into account here when I put out my final numbers. The CPC has also put out their ENSO outlook and in indicating that we do have an El Nino advisory in place. It's a weak El Nino, but nonetheless, that is going to sway the position of the storms and how strong they get in kind of their general tracks. Also, the sea surface temperatures off the coast of the Philippines is above average as of early June. Now, if we look a little bit towards the north in the Ogasara Islands indicated there in the blue, that is below average average. Another reason why I'm anticipating storms to develop more so there between 10 and 15 degrees north. That's actually very typical for El Nino years, but it's a smaller location for birthplace of typhoons, which would indicate there would be less of them overall. Also, they tend to recurb a little bit more, uh, moving off there away from Japan or impacting Japan, Okinawa, and less likely to impact the Philippines. But as you can see, traditionally during El Nino New Year's, everybody still gets impacted nonetheless. So that's something, it, it, it does have a role, but don't think that just because maybe you're in Hong Kong and storms tend to to uh, recurve that you would not be impacted by typhoons at all. All right, so here's my final outlook here. With all of that said, I think that due to the smaller concentration of where these storms could develop, tropical storms and overall typhoons are going to be less abundant by not a lot. It's only a weak El Nino, so 25 tropical storms compared to the average of 26. Typhoons would have right around about 15 compared to the average of 16. We've already had a super typhoon this year, and since sea surface temperatures are above average and a lot of the dynamics are in place for storms to develop into stronger storms, I do believe that the number of super typhoons might be above average when all is said and done by the time we roll around through the end of 2019. This is a quick little look there uh climatologically speaking that's kind of what i'm thinking also plus the general trend we have been seeing more and more uh stronger super typhoons in the western pacific over the past decade so just kind of leaning to that as well anyways uh just a quick update please let me know what your thoughts and uh what you're thinking down in the comment box below as well and please do like and share this video out always appreciate that all right everybody stay safe out there